Yeah, all right, it's time for some Bria in action. <clears throat> so I have no idea what this character does, so we'll just play this by ear. I imagine she's somewhat of a tank frontliner, so we'll head over there. Impale. Establish your spear, dealing 26 direct damage. Each target hit takes four less damage than the previous. So that's like an AoE kind of melee hit. So he's definitely going to fall back. So I can probably just like head right here, I think, and be okay. Alternatively, I could go all the way up here. That's not a bad idea either. What if I do something like this? Shoot. No. <laughs> okay. I didn't use my time bank, so I should be fine. And I have Titus here backing me up, and then we can... They're probably going to be, like, right here. <clears throat> oh, wow. He didn't actually change back. <laughs> no. That was a bit of an odd mistake. All right. So, let's see. We've got Aegis. Gain cover and a direction for one turn. Reduce damage from attacks. So, that's like that's like a shield, and but for only one direction. That's kind of weird. So there's Kaigen. No, that's not Kaigen. That's, uh, I don't remember her name is. Oh, that is a cool. <laughs> I can probably hit just like that. Make sure to hit this guy. And just in, just in case she doesn't actually dash out of the way, I'll be able to hit her as well. He's not under too much pressure, so he may not dash. Okay, he didn't. But she did. I don't know where she went. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> but that's a really cool target. Like one of the really great things about Alice Reactor, right, is the the, the methods in which you target uh, enemies. Like I know it's a really simple thing once you've been playing a little bit. It's like, oh yeah, of course, you know, you stretch it out and you pull it, and like the distance reduces itself as it goes along because it has a set area. It makes sense, but it's still it's something you don't actually see all that often. I still really appreciate it. Throw your shield. Okay, I can probably throw my shield here, right? It's only going to get me 12 damage, though. I think that'll be fine. Ah, oh, I used a time bank. I wasn't fast enough. And then, uh, fly to the Valkyrie, my dash. Dash to a location, unleash a cone attack. The only 40, eh, 24 direct damage to enemies and inflicting weak. Aegis is activated automatically. So, this is a really powerful ability. I need to save that very carefully. But at the same time, I can't, since it's so powerful, I can't just, uh, not use it ever. But it's interesting. Good. <clears throat> Alright, so he's dead. Stuff. Get a nice lead early. And we should be able to snow the snowball this pretty well as well, since Oz isn't gonna be in the picture for a while. Oh cool, that even uh that knocks him down. That's nice. I could go for a flight of the Valkyrie here. That's not a bad idea. Oh, that's weird. So I, I choose the dash location first, right? So I do something like this, and then do that, yeah. Okay. That looks good. Looks good, man. I love this character already. It's such a cool character. So I have a, a pretty strong melee ability. I have a pretty strong ranged ability with some good crowd control there. Soaring shield. Oh, I mean, soaring shield was the one. Uh, Aegis seems a little bit weak, but we'll see how that works out. Oh, oh, but it's a free action. It's a free action. Okay, okay. That's the thing I was missing. I was, I was like, if all you're doing is Aegising, that doesn't seem like that good, you know. You might as well just play a better tank, but if it's a free action, then that's really nice. I probably don't even need to Aegis here. I think I will, though, just in case. Oh, I can't even do that. To Aegis both directions, so it's not even worth doing. What's kind of unfortunate, though, is that you don't actually gain damage based on how close or far away it is. Which makes sense, but it'd be nice. Ah, oh, I used my time bank again. I thought I was fast enough. There's like that half second where like it stops just like a half second before or something. Or at least that's what it feels like. Okay, good. I'm going to be protected from her. I don't have to worry about him. He's way up there on the top. I can just focus on killing this guy. He's going to ult, so he's going to get some shields, but that's alright. Uh, I can probably just, like, shield up against that and then hit him. Just like so. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, did I not get a move ac move action there? Maybe if you use a free action, you don't get a move. Oh, it's because I used Aegis, and Aegis, I guess, locks me in place. Okay, there's that shield coming into effect. Going for the stab. Stabby, stabby. Just gonna get a hit. We're a little bit disoriented, uh, disorganized here, but I think we should be okay. He's got at least one more free action. Okay, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, what's her ult? Hurl your spear with the strength of Hyperion, dealing 35 dark damage and pulling enemies towards the center. So this is a really nice combo ability. So this character is like the ultimate like utility kind of character. <clears throat> a lot of really, like this. This seems like the perfectly designed kit. Not necessarily in the sense that like it has like cohesion necessarily between the abilities but like it just seems so incredibly powerful like some characters are like powerful in the sense that like they have combo abilities with other characters but then they have they're lacking other aspects this character feels like she has both the power to solo uh do well by herself on a solo instance while at the same time still being able to be powerful with in conjunction with other people which is relatively rare i think on a lot of these characters <clears throat> All right, now I'm going for this spear. Although it may not even hit, and I can't even get those guys either. But since they're only under the pressure of uh, one person, I don't think I have to worry about it too much. And I'll probably just want to scoot back somewhere, like back there. And then I can use uh, Aegis into Soaring Shield if I need to. Or just uh, Shield, rather. Or Heal. I'll take the fight to you. <laughs> Okay, nice. Uh, they're not going to dodge out of my dash. I mean, <laughs> they're not going to dash out of my ult. Not too painful. He missed. He, he may actually die here. I'm going to lock them up. They're knocked back. That's really good. And go right into another shield play. Uh, yeah, I'm not too under the threat. Wait, where did the other guy go? Oh, he got knocked into the face. I think I can go for a, uh, a hit here. Even though if I miss, it's only going to hit one person. Which isn't very good. She's going to dash out for 100%. Oh no. <laughs> oh well. Taking a little bit too long to aim up these attacks. <clears throat> okay, so he's not dashing out. This is good. And I still have all of my abilities left, which is nice. So by the time we get to like turn uh, like 14 or something like that, I can just start maneuvering towards the edge of the map and not engage in combat. <clears throat> nice. Oh, I, I'm, I was mistaken. I thought her dash was a, I mean, I thought her ult was a dash. I'm continuing to lock this guy up so he can't move and I 100% have to dash out of here. So Valkyrie out over here, maybe like right here, and then do something like this. Uh, I can't even get both of them. I need to change that then to be like right here. Yeah, that works. All right, man. All right. We had someone die, and someone else is about to die over here. I think we still got this. Ah, uh, they both dashed out. Damn. You okay there, Titus? <laughs> Are you okay there, buddy? <laughs> so I pretty much need to, since I wasted my dash and I'm within range of getting hit by like just about everyone that's at the dash out of here and heal. Although I'm not even sure that's actually necessary, but I'm no, nah, I'm under I'm under uh, cover under fire from everyone. There's too many people around here. And just one hit will kill me. Say hello to my little friends. Yeah, it was a very good thing that I did that. I 100% would have died if I hadn't dashed out. And at least now I can maybe get a return kill on him. Now actually, I'll leave it to Blackburn. I'll just heal up and back out. And they don't even know I'm here yet. 
Although they can probably guess. <laughs> uh, he only has shuriken left, so and he, but Titus is gonna get it, so I can just heal and then move out. Is Blackburn not gonna get this thing? I'll just move here. I'm going back into the line of sight of combat, but I think that's okay. We have to play a little bit more risk, uh, take a little bit more risks if we want to win this game by this point. It's a really nice hold by Titus. Too bad he doesn't have Might on him, or else it'd be really good. I mean, it's already really good, but I mean, excellent. Excellent. So I'm behind the shield. He's probably going to switch so he can dodge out of some attacks. So I just need to do something like this so I can get both of them. And then move backwards. Okay, so he did grab the heal, so I just need to move like right here. Grab this heal here. And I can age his next turn if I need to. <clears throat> Oh, he's not dashing, so he's dead. He got a good hit off on me, but I still have at least one more guaranteed attack. Oh no! Her range goes that far? Breen. Bri. Bri. Breen. The name is so weird. Breen. If I move over here, maybe I can stop her from... Because, see, they're kind of, like, curving around to this side, and I think if they keep that up, I should be able to catch her down here and kill her. Let's see what you brought for me. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. He's probably trying to reach Eric Kaigen over here. But there's not much hope for them. They would have to kill Titus and one more, like, full health person. I don't think that's going to happen. On target. So I can just like dash all the way to the front like this, and then I can use. I still haven't used probe. This like probe seems like it's only really all that great on a big map, so you can see where people are going, or maybe like the beginning of the match or something like that. But you can't even use it at the beginning of the match. I don't think it's a little bit tricky to use. I know it's powerful though. I just got to find out how to. I got to learn. I got to discover how to use it effectively. We can just finish off the skill, then we win. Oh, is that it? Oh, and that's it. Good stuff. Unless she somehow survives. No, <laughs> not gonna happen. Yeah, all right, we won. That was pretty effortless. Victory. Yeah. What a glorious time to be alive. Okay, cool. So we got a big map. This th this time pro will be pretty useful. You can go right up to the front, and we should be fine. Although going right up to the front when I have a pro is probably not a good idea. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> okay, so an opposing Brienne. There's no A in Brienne, but it still sounds so much nicer. Alright, so I can use... Oh, can I... No, 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 no. Uh, I had to use my time because I messed it up. I don't know what I did wrong. I thought I'd click probe, but it looked like I was still in the movement command. Weird. And now for my next trick. You All right, my so there they are. It's a pretty good drone. <clears throat> I'm gonna be kind of in the heat of it, which is not very good, but. Oh, come on. That still hit me? What the hell? That was behind a freaking thing. That's a lame. Is it even necessary to, like, shield up here? I don't think so. Ah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to playing Lockwood, just like forever and ever, just playing Lockwood. 
where my mindset is locked in that Lockwood state of mind. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Ready or not, here I Nice. Okay, so I'm locking him down a little bit, which is nice. I'm probably gonna have to dash out of here. There's too many people around here. We can get messed up. I don't. I don't know if it's worth using a dash for. Him. Oh, this is so bad. This isn't gonna work out at all. Oh man, this is gonna be a disaster. Like either. No wait. She's already used her dash. She's gonna hit both of us, and I have my Aegis up, but I don't know what Doctor Finn's gonna do. It's possible that he. Okay, so he shields himself. He shields himself, and then he's gonna hit forward, which is gonna hit both of us, and it's gonna hit me from the back. Oh man, he's taking a beating. At least he got both of these. That's pretty good. Ow. Oh, the shield is his only action. Okay. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> That's okay. I wasn't really looking to uh, move all that much anyway. I can probably just dash out of here, go over here, and then do something like... Nope, can't do that. Maybe I can do something like this. Nope, that's not going to work. Dashing seems really bad here, but it may be necessary. I can't even find the right... Ah, that's bad, too. Oh, well. I'll just have to take it. I, like, if I don't hit Dr. Finn, then I'm in a really bad spot. Because then I would have just wasted my dash. Because my dash here isn't all that useful. Okay, got him. Got him. It's very good. That was the thing I was kind of afraid of. Because, you know, when, whenever you go into stealth, it stops showing you... It, it only shows you the first square that they went into, where you lost vision of them, and then afterwards it does not show you anymore. So it's entirely possible that he actually went to the second or third square, or even further away, instead of just this first one. So I had to position my my reticle so it hit. It made sure to hit at least that first square and going forward a little bit more. Otherwise, I would have missed. Okay, and by this point, I can probably move backwards. Move backwards. No, no, no move backwards. I need to move forwards. I don't want to be in range of gray. Shoot, I'll just move here. Uh, I hope, I hope, uh, what's this guy's name? Like Rackham or something like that? I hope he doesn't move next to me. Or rather, I hope he moves away. Okay, nice. Guaranteed hit. His ult is up, so you can use that uh, here pretty soon. <laughs> okay, let's see. What are we going to do there? Okay, so this is pretty safe because it guarantees at least one hit, right? I'm pretty sure that's the case. And then I can move here. No, I can't move here. I need to move here. That way I can follow up with a, a spear attack if I need to. And then my ult should be coming up in one, two, two and a half turns. Two to two and a half. Nice, nice heal. Man, we're doing it, man. We're doing it. And they're all behind here too, so whenever I come up on them with my spear attack, it's gonna hit for sure. And since his ult is pretty much up now, he's probably gonna use it, right? Yes! Yes! Nice! Three people hit. She got two over the spear, which is pretty nice. I get at least one, and then I follow up with my spear myself. And then I can uh, dash out if I need to. Oh, I can even- I even knocked her back into the, the poison. Oh, this is really good. Oh, you know what? She she may warp. So I don't want to position it in such a way that I can still hit her. While wow, maneuvering it, so I hit the squares in front of me. And then I move forward, and then I ult or uh, dash out. Oh, this is looking good, man. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> we don't have any kills yet. And we're a little bit disorganized. and just a bit, uh, bit disorientated. But we have so much momentum right now that I think we should be fine. Uh, Oz took down like Kaigen or something up there. Huge hit. 
she unfortunately shielded that. Uh, shouldn't they go off first before us? Because then we can proc it. We may have gotten the kill if we did. Okay. She does not have ult, but she does have a dash. She has her ult. She's definitely going to use it. She's probably going to use it maybe over here. Uh, I don't really know where Dr. Finn went, so I can probably do something like this. <clears throat> and then maybe like position right here. Although positioning in the, the stealth actually would have been better because I wouldn't have gotten sight of Dr. Finn if I needed to. Nice, okay. So she's pretty much dead. She gets her guaranteed action, but that's okay. Alright, so I have my ult next turn, guaranteed. Which means I have like two to three more guaranteed actions. Only hitting Dr. Finn's entirely fine. Brienne dies. Might have my ult up now. And I can use it right here. Just like that. And I'll go ahead and Aegis as well. And then move right here. Oh, this is looking good, man. This is looking really good. She does have her ult, but all that does is lock down a certain area, which she may actually use around me and uh, Rackham. Oh, no, she's dashing out. Oh, well. At least I'll be able to get Dr. Finn for sure. Oh, you know what it is? I'm actually not soaking up as much damage as I think I am because I'm actually shielding against it. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Uh, he still has everything, so he's probably going to use it too. So it's not really worth using too much on this guy here. Ah, use my time bank. Okay, so he's actually not dashing out right, because that's not a prep action. I can follow up by dashing and using my ult over here. He's used his ult a second time. Really nice. And GG's on top of it. <laughs> this guy is great. This Gray is doing really well as well, though. She's probably going to get a kill on him and then lock down our Dr. Finn. Fortunately, his shield saves him from death. I'm slowed, so I'm going to move less, but that's okay. Oh, Dr. Finn's got his ult too. And he GG's on top of it. <laughs> I think I, I should be doing that. I should be saving my GG for big plays. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dr. Finn is pretty much dead, right? He still has that. How likely is he to use it, though? Oh, this is hard to tell. This is hard to tell. This is hard to tell. I'll just do... Shoot. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna do what I think is a pretty safe action. Damn, she's even defending against me, too. Oh, this is not good. If I had a target Dr. Finn there, we would have killed him. I was afraid he was going to uh, dash out or warp out. At least I get out of this, which is nice. <laughs> okay. I can actually warp on top of this if I want to. So I'll do this, and then I'll do this, and then I'll go forward a little bit like that. I'll make sure to stay out of Gray's uh, zone of control while taking away this health pack if I can. I am closer, so she would have to she would have to uh, teleport on top of it to get it first, which I, I doubt she'll do. Okay, no, she's not doing that. Nice shield, block some damage from me. She still is holding onto her ult. That's a little bit troubling. And he's just barely staying alive by staying behind cover. I can stop her from getting to assist her teammates. Alright, so this is a pretty safe Aegis. And then I go for the hit, hit both of these guys. Just like so. And then maybe I move around this corner. If I move around this corner, I'll get sight of this other side as well. But I also want to stay in cover if I can. Getting hit by Gray's drone isn't too big of a deal when it comes to getting cover against three people. I 
Bring it on, you crumpet. Here's looking at you, kid. Wow, she went for the dash. Even Kaigen dashed. Oh, his name isn't Rock, I meant Rosk. I was pretty close. Interesting. I wonder if she was specifically saving her ult just to trap our support, Dr. Finn, instead of using it on the tanks like me and Rask. Okay, she, she has no more escapes, I don't think, so I can just go ahead and go for this. I think it's a pretty safe move, and then I move over here to this uh, stealth space. I think we're a touch behind because Dr. Finn's low, but we do have the momentum on Dr. Gray as well, so it's pretty much even. Get a heal. I should have Dr. Gray killed here. Dr. Gray. Oh no, the freaking cover. Just barely gonna stay alive a little bit longer. And yet I'm not in cover? Come on, man. What is that? What is this non double standard? No, no, no. It is a double standard. Yeah, it's a double standard. Double standard of cover. Five turns left. Stay focused. Okay, so I go ahead and Aegis and I go for another hit. Can't hit Dr. Finn, so I'll have to settle with Kaigen. Assuming he doesn't dash or something. And I'll just go back around this cover again. So maybe I heal up next. I may not find an opportunity to actually use my healer warp. I may actually want to get rid of uh, Shift to change it out for something else. I don't think it's all that necessary on this character. Oh, I completely forgot about Gray. If I had targeted her, I might have been able to hit her over this cover. Maybe not. She has her ult up now. She doesn't really have any good targets except Dr. Finn. But he stayed alive a lot longer than I thought he would. So this is a good time to use heal. And I'll move over here to this far side. Yeah, that should be that should be alright. It's kinda of, it's a more passive move, but it'll keep me alive for the rest of the game. The rest of the short game. Alright, so they have the kill on Dr. Finn, which means we need to return kill pretty quickly, which is on Gray. But Gray is kind of staying over here in the background. It's kind of hard to get a uh, hit on her because she's staying behind cover. Maybe I should have moved over there, but I, on the front line though, I can't really... I can't chase after someone like Gray. And then if she dashes away, then I'm away from the, the battle, which is even worse. And she locked me down, which is really bad. Oh, that was a really good lockdown. Returns left. Okay, so she ha she doesn't have her dash yet, but I still can't hit her at all unless I do something like this No, I'm going to assume that I'm going to assume that he's got it right I really hope he does I'm taking a bit of a risk here No, it doesn't go over the cover <laughs> no, it's like a bad. That's I guess that's why he was targeting her, like saying you need to hit her. But why not just type that out instead? Uh, I was really hoping he was gonna get her. Now she has an opportunity to dash, I think next. Or at the very least, we don't know where she is. It's a new Two turns remaining. That's not gonna work. Uh, that's not very good. Uh, that's not very good. I should have just went for Gray. That's a big mistake. I relied on... I was thinking Oz was going to get her, but I guess this cover in front of uh, uh, Gray was too large for him to actually hit her. I didn't use my age in the wrong direction. Oh, did my spear not actually hit anybody? I thought she was within range anyway. Weird. Oh, 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 okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I may be able to return kill him, but he's going to be going for uh, an ult, which means I need to get out of there. I need to go towards Dr. Finn. One turn remain. And get into the stealth. Alright, so he's probably going to waste his ult trying to ult me, but I'm just going to dash. This is going to be really close. 
Oh wait, we actually need a we need a kill on him, but it's not gonna work. But if I die anyway, then we still lose. So I just need to get out of here and hope they can kill Doctor Friend here. <laughs> no, it was my mistake. Ah, why? I want to win the next one. Hey, all right, it's that industrial map. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we'll just rush right up to the front. Give no dams. All right, so they got uh, what's her name? I don't actually remember her name. Is it like Celeste or something? Celeste, like Rampart. Uh, Nyx. <laughs> I need to go back over these names and make sure to memorize them. There's not many of them. It wouldn't be too difficult. So we know where everyone is except Nyx, but Nyx is probably over here in the stealth area. Which means I need to dash up to the front and like hit both of these guys right here. It's really, really stupid. <laughs> but maybe it'll work out. <laughs> I played two games of Brin so far. I want to see how well I can do with some of the more riskier plays. Stronger than steel. Uh, his name is Garrison. Rampart Nix Celeste. Yeah. Oh, he's right here. So I can get the drop on him. I'm actually going to get hit by this laser, though, unfortunately. Oh, that sucks. But at least I got three people in this. I am in a bit of trouble though, now that I'm surrounded by four people. <laughs> That's great. Okay, no longer the hit of four people. I'll Aegis against this guy, and then I'll hit him with my... S I'll hit him, and then I'll follow Nyx wherever he goes, and then stay on top of him. And then try and uh, just keep uh, crowd controlling him so he doesn't get any shots off. Although it's entirely possible he doesn't actually aim for me, and he aims for someone else entirely. Or he even goes for uh, a warp, but that would be incredibly early, and it'd be really nice if he actually did that. Okay, I wonder if my uh, thing is my boomerang is even gonna hit anymore. Stop me. Get behind me. Oh, don't you just love the chase? Okay, so there's the dashes. I can't tell if Nick's dashed. Okay, didn't use my Aegis, so I got half off. Oh, that's a big, that's a, some pretty good hits here. Not very good. <laughs> he used like his buffs too. It's unfortunate. Uh, what? It, re it ricochets? What the hell? It's crazy. So no idea where Nyx went. This is really bad. I'm, I don't even have regroup. Oh, this is bad. We don't know where they are. This is really bad. Alright, so I'll use this. I'm using them. Oh, that's probably why. The reason it probably didn't work before is because I was dumb and I kept pressing 6 instead of 8. Oh man, we're all over the place. Nice, still got her. Nyx is right here, okay. And that's where my, whatchamacallit, comes in handy. And he's behind our shield, that's not very good. He probably should have positioned the shield to the right instead. That way at least you get a, you guarantee your aurora. I don't know, Nyx could have been behind this cover, so I guess it makes sense. Nyx going for the middle I think is unexpected, so what he did was probably right. So he's not going to be in the same place. We still don't- oh, he's over there. Okay. So this is probably a good opportunity to use heal. And then I can move forward. Move forward where? Maybe like right here? Maybe right here? That seems pretty good. I'm at least under some cover. Gotta keep you on your toes. Pearly 
Okay, so not much happened there. We're in a prime position to get hit. I'll probably go for an Aegis. No, he's going to be shielding. I don't need to do that. Fortunately, I can't hit her. I can't hit him, but that's not very good. Does she have any dashes? She still has her warp. It may actually be worth going for this. And then bringing them down. That's really risky. That's really, really risky. But I'll take that. I'll take it. Ah, she warped out. The whole point of trying to to use the, my warp to use the root was to lock her down primarily. Oh, that's unfortunate. And if he hits him, I'm gonna get hit. But we're both gonna get hit. Oh, uh, oh. No, it's still with me. What? I thought he was aiming for where I was, not where I am. Now the warp would have been really good. All I can I can't even use it. Oh. Okay, I can. I can use my ricochet. And it gains damage based on how many times it bounces. That's neat. I'll go here. She has no more warps left, and she still has two turns on it. So if I catch her. I I should just stay right here. I should just stay right here and try to catch her when she goes back around. And he's gonna get hit by my ricochet anyway, because it's not facing the shield's not facing me. And she's still gonna get hit by his sword attack. Maybe I should have changed my attack to maybe try and hit her from the front, but I don't think that's possible. She's so close to dying. She's at actually at the perfect HP where if I had used my dash root. Would have killed her. Oh, she's going that way. Oh, she got killed anyway. Good stuff. Alright. So what to do next? What to do next? No longer has a warp. So maybe I could do something like this. Yep. That looks good to me. Yeah, right. We're doing pretty good, man. We're doing pretty good. We've got some momentum. Uh, our, who's that? Is that Gray? Who's that? Oh, Aurora? What is she doing so out of position? She should be back here somewhere. Alright, so Nyx is going to die almost in t almost surely here pretty soon. Probably next turn, since he doesn't have any dashes. <laughs> and those two tanks are just going at it. He does have an ult, which is a little bit troubling. Can't even get close. Maybe I go for the this hit? Nope, not gonna work. Ah, uh, I didn't move. Ah, uh, I didn't move, I'm an idiot. Oh well. Is she gonna die to what's his face gold? Ah, he's so close to dying. Oh, he went for me. He went for both of us. Wow. I guess that makes sense. Because you can't really hit her you, uh, for fear of dashing. And wow, my, sh my shield didn't block any of that. Oh my god. Useless shield. So I can go for this, get a double hit, position it somewhere like right there. So if anyone comes here, I can get them as well. Uh, I'm probably going to die, so I want to try and move over here towards my teammates. Somewhere like right here. Around the corner, but still within range of my three people. <laughs> oh no, I used my GG early. I should have used it right as it did my, uh, my ultimate. Oh well. I'm learning, man. I'm learning. I'm learning how to... <laughs> be a performer <laughs> on the grand stage of Atlas Reactor. Okay, so the shield coming and doing some work. I may get at least one more guaranteed action, which is really good. Nice, knocked both of them back. I didn't get uh, him, but it's okay. He dashed out, can't really, can't really do anything about that. I don't have an Aegis, but I do have 
Okay, so I'm going to position this in such a way that it will hit either Rampart or hit... Oh, that's not Rampart, that's Garrison. It'll hit Garrison or it'll hit Aurora or Celeste. Ah, whatever. Whatever her name is. Nice, another shield coming in. He's he's not gonna be my front one. Oh, well, wow! I just got ra I just got rooted. It looks like the, both Rampart and the other one dashed out too. Oh, there we go. I'm dead. Uh, her, his shield doesn't block uh, Celeste's attack. Damn. Oh well. I'll probably go somewhere like right here, and then go straight down. We should be able to take this game pretty easily. I think we can kill all three of them pretty soon. <laughs> Actually, we could, we could even kill four of them like in the next couple turns. Shouldn't be too difficult. I'm just going to dash all the way to the front. Or just uh, sprint all the way to the front. So Aurora dashes. How many you got? She has none, and I mean Celeste, obviously. So I'm gonna hit her like so. And I'm going to shield up. That's not even using Aegis here isn't gonna do anything for me. What if I use it against this way? And then go right here. If, if I move up a little bit more, we may not actually be able to kill Celeste in time. So we'll just have to go for like the one kill and be content with that. And then try and uh, survive. Or maybe we can get Garrison as well. I know he used his warp earlier. Although we may actually lose our, our war run pretty soon. Alright, so this is... Too oh, you know what? I shouldn't have moved up to the front. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so it was a bit of a mistake to move that way that I did, but I think we should still be fine. He has no more dashes, so this is 100% gonna hit. Then I move this way. And then I use my Flight of the Valkyrie next if I need to. It's looking really, really good. So Garrison goes down, Nyx, or Nyx is already dead, and then we go target Aurora. Or Celeste! Ugh, why do I keep getting that mixed up? Yeah. Don't worry, I brought enough for everyone. Oh, I'm slowed. It's not good. When I'm trying to chase her, I can't be slowed. Alright, but I get the kill. Good stuff. Oh, she didn't actually move further away. I guess she can't really, though, since uh, her team is losing. She needs to go for the attack. He doesn't have any abilities, so we can just go for the attack on him. And then I can chase Aurora. Alright, good, good, good. Good, good, good. We only need one more kill to finish this off. I think if my teammates were a little bit closer, I'd go for Celeste here. But since they're not, getting one attack against a guard isn't really going to do much, as opposed to hitting Rampart. Which is a little bit more likely to get a kill on than her, even though she has less than half health. Less than half of his health. Ah, that didn't hit. Wow, I'm getting beat up here. 
Ice shield blocks it. It's completely in the darkness here. This is not good. Okay, nice. I still followed. And he's, he's dead now. I'll just do something like this. And then finish off the game. And we win. <laughs> good stuff, man. Good stuff. I love this character. This is probably my favorite character in the game right now. Besides Lockwood. But, I mean, it's a Lockwood. You can't beat Lockwood, man. Second favorite character in the game. Back into the Anelic Mass. Oh, I might actually die. Nope, she didn't go for me. Or she didn't go for where I was going to dash to, rather. We had another kill lined up here as well. But it's okay. Win!